This video presents the 2021-2022 Senior Design Project for the Reduction of Backlash within a Bobcat E35 Excavator. This was done by Noah Schaefer, Jennifer Mosier, Jamie Larson, Christopher Thompson, and Nicholas Spearing. With special thanks to Dr. Karami from the NDSU Mechanical Engineering Department and Elliot Stone from Doosan Bobcat. Bobcat's E35 Mini Excavator is used in many applications, including construction and demolition and landscaping. The slew bearing, the connection point between the upper structure and undercarriage, consists of a gearing system used to turn the excavator cab 360 degrees. There are many inherent advantages to using gears as a mounting block to turn two objects. Although these advantages may be numerous, there are also some downsides. One such downside is a phenomenon known as backlash. Due to the need for a small amount of clearance between each tooth of the gears, when stopping the gears, there will be a tiny back and forth motion of the teeth. This motion is amplified the further out from the gears one is. This creates backlash and is the issue this team of NDSU engineers is attempting to solve. As shown, when stopping, the boom and arm assembly reverberates back and forth. The team had to solve this without doing something so simple as tightening the gear tolerances. Furthermore, the design had to reduce at least 30% of the backlash, be cost effective, take up minimal space, and be fabricated with ease. Using Bobcat standards, research into different brake systems began. These included a band brake, caliper brake, and finally a hydraulic cylinder brake. The cylinder brake was found to provide the best braking force, handle the tangential loads, and was the simplest to manufacture. A brake ring was designed to fit underneath the upper assembly of the E35 and act as the braking surface for the hydraulic cylinder brake. In order to increase the braking force, two large brake pads were needed as well as a larger cylinder. This effectively elongated the design both vertically and horizontally to accommodate for the new parts. When assembly began, grinding down many components was found to be a necessary step in order to best fit within the assembly as well as under the excavator. The most notable of these being the brake pads. Due to issues with clearance between the upper assembly and the brake design, sections of the brake pads had to be removed, effectively losing much of the braking power needed. Through some tweaking of the assembly, the bolt pattern was drilled into the undercarriage of the E35 excavator and testing was ready to begin. Testing found that the brake assembly reached about 27% of the expected force. With closer examination of the brake pad, it was found that only about one-fourth of the already reduced braking surface was making contact. The design lost about 40% of the calculated braking force due to the improper installation and loss in brake pad area, though when the brake was engaged, the backlash was fully reduced in stationary position. To optimize the current design, increasing the mounting torque or mounting the cylinder horizontally and applying force through an L-bend bracket could improve upon the shortcomings of the current design. This concept gave insight on how a braking system could be used in aspects not yet explored. Further, to demonstrate innovative and cheap ways backlash can potentially be reduced without turning into an expensive gear tolerance redesign. The team would like to issue a special thanks to Elliot Stone, Dr. Karami, and the NDSU Mechanical Engineering Department and Doosan Bobcat for funding this project.